Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a mermaid inspired look. If you can't tell already, um, I waved my hair using my triple barrel waver. I have a tutorial on that. It's one of my first videos, so um, I will put the link in the bottom bar so you can check that out and see how I did it if you're interested in learning. Um, I am home if you guys can't tell by the scenery. So I don't have all my makeup stuff. I didn't really bring like any of my brushes and I didn't bring my mirror, so the mirror I have to work with is my Naked Pal. So please forgive me if this video is a little not the greatest. But I just want to do another look for you guys because I know Halloween's right around the corner. So yeah. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh, I wanted to start by saying that I'm using my 120 palette that uh, my, friend, my friend Cydia sent me. I really love this palette. It has like every color imaginable. And I use it in my Snooky one too. So it has all the great colors. So the first color I'm going to be using that I'm going to be using all over my lid is this one right here. It's just a, I don't know if you could see it. It's a nice bright blue color. So anything you have that's bright blue will work. So I'm just going to take that and apply it on my lid. This is going to be hard to do. just really just want to pack on that color so it's nice and bright and just one more layer will probably do okay a frosty lighter blue like this and you want to put that over top of it to give it a nice shimmery color that's what we're going to do. And you want to bring that in um, towards the tear duct too. So you're going to want to pat it on the inside corner and then kind of bring it in the inside like that. Because the bright blue we used was a matte color. And you just want to sparkle it up a little bit. Another sparkly color that I'm going to mix with that is actually um, like a turquoise shimmer color, this one. Just gonna add that in just to make it a little more sparkly. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for the blue. You also want to take that color and um, that dark blue color, not the dark, the bright blue color, and you want to bring that under your lash line. Pretty much all the way into where we brought it before. Okay, next we're going to be taking a purple color. Purple color I'm going to be using. We're going to be mixing a bunch of them. First one I'm going to use is this one that I'm pointing to right here. It's kind of a fuchsia purple color. And you're going to want to put that into your crease. So right above where you put the blue, you want to just start working that in. Now this brush, I have no idea where it came from, but it was lying around my room. And I was like, hey, why not? So don't ask because I have no idea where it's from. So just kind of working that in. Next what you want to do is take another purple color. We're going to be taking a darker one without shimmer, which is this one right here. And we're kind of just going to be working that in like this. So just kind of want to press it in and then kind of just bring it in a little bit. So And then just work it in. Just go in and grab more. Maybe this will be easier if I do it straight on. Okay. 
we're just gonna kind of keep working with this because it's not gonna be perfect but it doesn't have to be um, then you want to be taking a shimmery whitish color. I'm going to be using this one right here Ooh, as like a highlight color. And you want to put that underneath the brow bone and everything. This is a very shimmery look. So if you don't like shimmer, this isn't going to be the look for you. going to go in and add a little more blue onto my lid just because sometimes um, blending in the purple can kind of take away that from that a little bit so I just kind of want to go back in and just add a little more. I also want to take your smudging end and you want to just bring a little bit of the purple underneath there too. It's not going to sh really show up that much, but it'll um, add a little bit of an effect in there. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some black eyeliner to my waterline. Alright, so I'm going to put on my false lashes. These are the um, Salon Perfect. You can get them at Walmart and they're the number 28. So. Okay, so I applied my false lashes and uh, added mascara to that. Um, now I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer. This is Physician's Formula and put it underneath my under eyes just because um, there is a little bit of fallout. But I'm going to put a little bit. Alright, now we're almost done. Now we're just going to do the face. I feel like mermaids are just really bronze and sun-kissed. So I'm going to be using my Revlon Colorstay Suntan Matte Bronzer. This is like my favorite bronzer. There's some shimmer in there. So I'm just going to apply this on my face. My cheeks. My nose. And then on my forehead pretty much everywhere. Um, I didn't get a chance to get diamonds, but I think it would be really cute if you were doing this for Halloween. If you just like put some little rhinestones like in the corner of your eyes, I thought that would be really cute, but um, I didn't end up getting those. And then last but not least, um, I'm using Revlon Soft Nude, just for a nudie color. That's it. So, if you want to be a mermaid, but you could just wear even like a bandeau top and then maybe like a green skirt or I know they have mermaid costumes, so you can get that. But um you could add like seaweed in your hair and stuff. I just kind of did the bare minimum, but I thought it would be really fun. Um I always wanted to do like a mermaid look. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye.